Montana. We're the Blackfeet, uh, Blackfeet tribe up there in Montana, uh, close to Glacier Park, just underneath the mountains. Uh, we've been known as the uh, terrors of the plains, I guess. We uh, fame ourselves to be the best horsemen on the plains. And uh, Indian Relay started in 19, I believe, 83 for the Blackfeet up there in Kellisball, Montana, a guy by the name of Leroy Skunk Cap. He was uh, married to a gal from down here in Showband country, and he brought up the current form of Indian Relay uh, done bareback. But I have a great late grandfather named John DeRue. She, uh, he ran the relays back home using saddles in the 40s. And that's kind of where my dad, Irvin Carlson, got us started. He uh, learned how to train from my grandpa, John, and uh, learned how to relay and get uh, conditioned horses from him. So it's kind of been passed on down through the ages to uh, myself. And then uh, I got my brothers, Chaz and Irvin, and my cousin, Slew. We all kind of got uh, involved together through our family and stuff. So uh, my rider, my brother, Chaz, he, um, he's a great athlete. Uh, and be, besides a great athlete, he's a good horseman, and I, I believe that's what separates him from everyone else. Is uh, he's a great horseman. He he breaks horses, he shoes horses, he trains horses, so he understands a horse from the ground up. And when we get new horses, he'll take them and he'll re-break them, and he'll break them into how he wants them to uh, cue to his to his cues. He. Um, He's just an excellent, excellent horseman. And I believe that's what separates him from the rest of the guys is that, that horsemanship that he's, uh, you know, always tease and tell him, uh, I taught you everything I know, but I'm um, kind of proud to say that he's taking it a step further than from what I know. And he's turned around and he's teaching me now of how to uh, train horses. And I'm proud of him for that. And, and I think that's what makes Chaz so special. When I got into it, when we were younger, we were, I learned to ride race horses, regular gate horses, you know, and that's what taught me how to ride a race horse a lot better than probably most people. And I galloped horses at the tracks in the mornings and learned the routine and patterns of riding them horses. Kind of both mixed between that and relay, what really helped me. With these horses, it's a pretty good relationship just because of it's a family thing. We're there every day. I know the horses in and out from riding them, from chewing them, doing everything, doctoring them. It's pretty good. I'm there with them every day. They're just outside of my house, so I'm pretty lucky to have that relationship with the horses. Anything Indians do pretty much is uh, really family oriented. Uh, each evening we show up at the barn, our kids are there uh, helping mix feed, the wives are helping clean stalls. Uh, we travel together, we do everything we do is together with our uh, wife and our kids. And kids are around playing Indian Relay. Uh, they're all fighting over who gets to be Chaz when they're playing. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, we enjoy it. So it keeps our family together, uh, real close knit. Uh, even in the off season, I notice we, we do stuff together. It was real funny. We were at our own show at the Browning Indian Days in Browning. And, uh, we all kind of split up after the race and uh, I told my wife, let's go in and go eat dinner and we show up and have our whole team shows up there all together. Uh, we never even planned it, but we just all kind of came together and had a meal. So that's kind of how tight we are as a unit. And it shows on the track, we help, um, kind of helps each other. We have confidence in each other, and, uh, spending a lot of time together. So that, that's, it's great. Silver lining has worked out. This is our first year using the product, and uh, it, it's worked out really good. We uh, um, we use the endurance, the hemp, hemp seed, and coconut oil. That's worked out really well, keeping them nice and healthy, keeping their gut healthy. And but our horses are a lot calmer. I've noticed this year they're a lot more focused this year, and consequently, we've won a lot more races this year. Uh, more often than not, we either win or we take second, and uh, I accredit a lot of that to the silver lining. They, um, the horses just, like I said, are just super focused, and they seem like they fully understand what they're doing. They're able to um, comprehend out there. They're just not out there just 
running stupid. They're, uh, and this year, that's the big difference is with the silver lining. It just, um, the performance of the horses is just, uh, it just took it to another level. And we've taken our racing to another level with silver lining. I work on my steps. It's all timing, you know, you bring in your horse in there, like the exchange, you know, you get a horse that has no brakes, you're not gonna get him turned in there. If you get a horse that can stop with some rate, get him turned, it's all timing and where you put that horse for you to get off and get onto the next one. It's just in line, right where you need to be, just to get your timing. It's usually three or four steps is perfect. That's fast. And you're on and you're out. A lot of them are big horses, you know, 16, 17 hands. So when you're coming in like that and you get that timing and you jump, that's what catapults you onto the next horse. If you come in and just trotting and stopping slow, you're not gonna be fast. But if you get that timing, bring him in there, set him down, slow him up, shut him down in all one motion, and you're going off, it's gonna glide you to the next horse, give you that momentum to just be one, two, three, on. A lot of times we, we don't just pop right out. If we know something's gonna happen, we'll set it just for a split second to make sure everything's clear, then go. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They just fly out there and that's what causes collisions. But it's fast, you know, high pace, that's what you want. But with, sometimes it's just that little extra second will win you a race of getting out clean. Oh, it's the best feeling, you know, and you just, boom, and you're out clean. You know you're in the lead. It's a good feeling, you know. It ain't over though until it, you come around that last hook on that last horse. It's never over. It feels good to do it, but. You're always just riding hard till the end to finish.